church good morning praise the lord Amen. this is the day that the lord has made Amen. we we'll rejoice Amen. and be glad in it in psalms the bible says that i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord in this place shall we worship god and glorify him shall we praise in his uh, i mean praise his name we shall honor him in every side and so we are so glad that god has given us this day to worship him in this service Welcome to this service. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We bless and we praise your holy name. We bless you, God, for this morning that you've created for us. A very special Sunday. Father God, that you may find a place in us this morning. 
Father, we thank you, Lord, for gathering us here. For there are many who desire to have such a moment, but they cannot find. The Lord is just by your grace. Lord, go, Father, that we are here. Lord, your mercies are new every morning. Father, we thank you because of your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your care. We thank you for the good plans that you have for us this morning. We submit to your divine authority as we gather here to worship you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah Father, as we begin this morning, how we pray the Lord may find a place in our lives. Even as we put on the full armor of God this morning, that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. King of glory this morning, and Father, having done all things to stand, Father, we stand therefore with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, our feet shod with readiness to take the gospel of peace. Above all, we take up the shield of faith to thwart every flaming out of the enemy raised against our lives, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Surround us this morning with the blood of Jesus. Surround us this morning with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Father God, glorify yourself in us. As Father God, we worship you. We come against all the principalities, the powers, the rulers of darkness in heaven, listen, in all places. We bind every satanic operation against our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, we destroy anything ungodly ranged against us, any arrow ranged against us us, O Lord. Every weapon fashioned against us, we command it destroyed in Jesus' name. We bind all communication and destroy it in Jesus' name. Every covenant made against our lives and our service this morning. Father, we destroy it by the blood of Jesus. Father, we ask you this morning, have your way in our worship. Have your way in each one of us. Thank you for those who are on the way to come. Thank you for those ones, my Father, who are here. How we pray that we bless all of us, Lord, as we gather here to worship you. Take over this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Grace, and I'll be your leader of service today. The Lord be with you. We have come together, the people of God, drawn by his spirit, longing for his word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and be sent into his peace. We are heirs of the Father, renewed in the spirit. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So let us confess them to our Father. Eternal Father, God of our sisters, before your power, all this tremble. We have done long and better to do right. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ rejoices at repentance and declares his acceptance. The dead are alive, the lost are found. His goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life, and you will live in the house of the Lord forever. Lord of mercy, the blessed are those who live in your house. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father in whom all things began. Glory to the Son who became the Son of Man. Glory to the Spirit who inspires and renews the Lord our God forever. We'll now invite the Psalm of the Day. Psalm for today is Psalm 77. Psalm 77, beginning to read at verse 11. Psalm 77, we we'll begin at verse 11 and we'll read antiphonally. 
I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles along a, long, of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, God. The waters saw you, and the earth The clouds poured down water. The skies resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, through your footprints, though, though your foot, footprints were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, so is now, and forever shall be. We may be seated for the first and the second reading. Praise God. Amen. Our, our first reading is from Isaiah 63, 7 to 15. Amen. Uh, I will tell you the kindness, kindnesses of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised. According to all the Lord has done for us, yes, the many good things he has done for Israel, according to his compassion and many kindnesses, he said, surely they are my people, children who will be true to me. And so he became their savior. In all their distress, he, he too was distressed and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and mercy, he redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of the old. Yet they rebelled, rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. So he turned and became their enemy, and he himself fought against them. Then his people recalled the days of the old, the days of Moses and his people, where he, where is, where is he who brought them through the sea with the shepherd of it, with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he who set his Holy Spirit among them, who sent his glorious arm of power to be at Moses' right hand, who divided the waters before them to gain for himself everlasting renown, who led them through the who led them through the depths? Like a horse in an open country, they did not stumble. Like, a, like cattle that go down to the pl plain, they were given rest by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. This is how you guided your people to make for yourself a glorious name. Look down from heaven and see from your lofty throne, holy and glorious, where are your zeal and your might. Your tenderness and compassion are withheld from us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Uh, our second reading comes from the book of First Corinthians, chapter ten, verse one to thirteen. First Corinthians. Sorry, uh, Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 20. Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 20. I shall read. The armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. 
For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the, uh, sorry, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm, then with the belt of truth, buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions, with all kinds and prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the Lord's people. Pray also for me that when I speak words may be given to me, so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. And that's the word of the Lord. We shall now invite the praise and worship. Praise God. Praise God again. Praise God. Buana asifiwe. Opaki Yesu. Mwaza ni agosho. Agosho mwono. Felicia nakilia ni. Praise God nakilia ni. Oh, oh, sawa. <laughs> anyway, um, I believe we are all ready to praise and worship our maker, just as we have read in the first reading, Isaiah chapter 63, verse 7. Uh, yes. <laughs>
song that says nimekuja kukutana na wewe wewe haja ya moyo wangu it's fairly new but you'll just repeat the words that we say and i believe that these words you'll speak them with much intentionality amen amen
just tell him that which you need is all that we need is all that is able to help us is all that is able to guide us is all that is able to minister to our needs this morning just worship God just glorify his name just tell him your need this morning that cry you have in your spirit just speak to him that need you have so much in your heart just tell God help me in this because without you I'm nothing my ministry is in vain without you my life is in vain without you anything that I do is in vain without you Lord help me this morning because you are all that I need this morning you are my heart's desire this morning you are my king and my Lord my shepherd the one in whom I trust this morning have your way in my life to have this gift of fellowship king of glory as we are here heavenly father we pray that you may learn from you that you may feed from your feet as we are here we are here to meet with you we are here to have an encounter with you heaven lord god almighty father may we have an encounter with you through the testimonies that are going to hear may we have an encounter with you through the through the word that you have blessed within the heart of the minister heaven lord god almighty father we even have an encounter with you through the music that you're going to sing today and it is in jesus name i trust believe and pray amen amen just appreciate the lord somebody with a good clap who can do better than that church hallelujah all right come on hallelujah For joy to the Lord our maker. It's such a great thing to sing for joy, to worship the Lord, to honor him, and to praise his holy name. Let's be sitting in the presence of God. It's time for notices. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Do we have any visitors here with us today? Any visitor? The parish updates for Sunday 14th April 2024. We thank and congratulate all men who took part in our monthly health and wellness walk. Many are encouraged to join the team. We thank and appreciate all church members who stood with Elias Ogonji in the en and the entire family of Ven Canon Ogonji during the loss of their mother who has been buried today in Nyanza. Confirmation classes are ongoing. Those still interested to see the evangelist lay reader Captain Samuel Munjiru. Those who have registered to meet Captain Samuel in one of the classrooms after this service. Kama Fellowship meets every third Sunday of the month for April. They shall meet this coming Saturday, 20th April, 2024 at 7 a.m. You are all welcome. As per our calendar of events and in line with the diocesan annual activities, our revival week is from 22nd to 28th April 2024. All mission team to meet here in the church on Tuesday 16th April 2024. Our monthly Kesha is on Friday 26th April 2024 from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. All are welcome. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Secretary. Um, Kesha, imetangazwa. Na revival, imetangazwa. Let's begin praying for it as we prepare so that we get an opportunity to come here and uh, worship the Lord. And... Um, Remember that we also we also have we are also preparing for uh, is it one or two uh, worship night and uh, worship experience. We continue praying for that and we bless God for the fire He has brought us. Amen. Amen. out to Salimi to make comments. It's going to be so nice. So to appreciate
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Uh, as you've heard, I am God doing my call at Tech Oak Simba. I have been away for like uh, three months. Uh, I went back to college on 8th of uh, January. So the, the 7th of January, that was the last Sunday that I was here with you guys. So I posted the one WhatsApp. That was my last Sunday. So nearly I came at home. We took a church without telling you guys goodbye. I was uh, doing my neck exams, but I came back on uh, 9th. I'll be going back on uh, date 6th of uh, next month, so I won't stay long. And I like to thank God that while I was at school, on the 21st of April of this year, I turned 25 years. So it has been a long journey. Amen. So to more, to more preset, uh, I appreciate, I celebrated it with my, some of my CU members at college. So it has not been a long journey. Kofika 25 years, it has not been a long journey because uh, Hadi Jana, my mom, I'll come to that. She never knows that I turned 25. Jana, I'll come and be that. Na you are 24. So, like, I never wanted to tell her that I'm 25, but I thank God that I'm 25 years. Amen. And uh, an uncle of five. Yeah, thank you. Amen. God bless you, Ateka. We are happy for you. Welcome again. Lakin atalipa fine ya kutoto ambia kwa eri the other time. Praise the Lord. Anybody with a testimony, just in one or two minutes, kindly. Usiseme mchungaja litufungia. Aliena mwana, anawishuhuda. Na walimushinda shetani kwa dami ya mwana kondo na kwa neno la ushuhuda wao. Na hawa kupenda nafsi zao hata kufa. Mara ya kwanza. Mta kuna mbia lewa kuna hatu wa kwa hii kanisa. Mara ya pili. Bwana sifiwe. Ndugu tusalimie na utupatia ushuda kwa dekika moja. Kikata <laughs> mutawamisha. Kwa dekika moja tu. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, my name is Frank. Um, the Lord has protected me this morning. I'm glad to be here. And Ushuda ni nyingi, I will not be able to give much, but I want to thank God for uh, uh, his protection and his guidance. What I want to thank him for is uh, the kind of revelations that he's giving for this age of late. I've uh, been doing my Bible study a lot in the morning and in the evening, even during the day. And uh, it's like we are getting hidden things. Uh, so what I want to thank God for is that he has a plan for the generation right now and he's reviving it to a degree that has never occurred before. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Okay, gender parity. <laughs> Felicia, to Salimi, <laughs> so that the ladies will not throw stones at me. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord once again. Amen. You may hit you may feel I have to introduce myself. Cause gonna water on you. I am Felicia, Lona, and then the Were. I am a child of God, born again, and I love to serve the Lord. My testimony, I think, is just similar to Frank. Yesterday I was in a gathering of young ladies who took away their Saturday to be able just to go and commune with the Lord and and just to listen from him. And I know from that a lot is going to happen. Churches are coming up. The youth are going to prophesy truly. And that is just a thanksgiving in my heart. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know, one thing is that this is the best time that God has given us. It's an opportunity, a rare opportunity. I always say it, a rare opportunity that God creates for you 
to live for him and to serve him. That at such a time as this, when God has given you that opportunity, seize the opportunity. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is worth it. At the end of the day, who, okay, who is going to bring revival? Thank you, Frank. It is you and I, isn't it? Yes. That we have to take our position to bring revival. And revival begins with us committing ourselves to the Lord, just pouring our hearts to him and surrendering everything in totality to him. Kindly let's stand in our two feet. Kindly let's stand. We'll get one worship number. We hear the word of God. Then we finish the service. Okay. Oh, some of you are wondering why this one is here and we, have, we are holding a normal service. Uh, last Sunday, we, the announcement came uh, in the other services that uh, our Lord Bishop is coming here this morning. He's coming for the main service. And so he'll be coming to celebrate the whole communion. We were expecting him to come early, maybe to minister to us in the youth ministry, but uh, we were informed that he was not able to come to join us. We apologize for that. But after this service, we'll go to the Bible study, then we can be able uh, to join the rest for the whole communion. The whole communion is for the whole church, conducted by our Lord Bishop. Praise the Lord. Amen. So my apologies for that. You may be wondering why. It's uh, the, the, the arrangement of the whole communion and you're having an ordinary service. That's exactly what is happening. So we are waiting for our Lord Bishop to come. If that is the position. Sama sama. Amen. Let's get a worship number so that we can hear the word of God. Father, my utterances, my Father may not bring you glory. But, oh, my Father, purge me as you purge desire with this, with that call, oh, my Father, that everything that I speak, my Father, in front of your people, oh, God, 
be my father to your honor and glorification oh Jehovah my God my father let you my father let the people that i preach to my father let their hearts be my father fertile ground oh God let they, they, let them have my father hearts my father of flesh and not of stone oh God let them hear from me oh God let them respond in their actions let them respond in their prayers oh God and let them respond oh Jehovah in the spirit oh my father that they may be that light of the world that salt of the earth oh God and that city built on a high hill i pray this believing and trusting in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You may have your seats. So, si wapati ushuhuda mkiko uko, nataka munikaribie. This row, mkuja hadi row number two. Hiyo row ingine, hadi row number two. Oranga kwe mtu wa mwisho hile row. Oranga nui amevaa wait. Move forward please. I will just move with you. Oranga ni huyu. Ninaomba mkuje mkae huko karibu na mimi. Thank you. Thank you for your obedience. Kanisa hii yote ni yetu. Si ndio? We are the only department of St. Michael's and All Angels that has a service. Sindio? Mbono wa mke asubuhi 8 o'clock ukuja kukaa huko nyuma. Are you afraid of God? Are we afraid of God? But we are saved by this God. Can we be afraid of him? Sindio? So, a challenge to you. Tumeambiwa that we are reviving. You cannot be reviving and behave the way we behaved to kikua Sunday school. Tuwe to kikua teens, sindio? That's how we behaved. Tuko tunaka huko nyuma, sindio? But in our beer, we require to change. Sindio, that has been the testimony that has been given to us. Sindio, a new thing is being done. Sindio, a revival is occurring. It cannot occur if you come in the house of the Lord. Praise and worship is singing and they are dancing. I'm dance. Praise and worship is singing. You are not responding to their songs. So, Tafadali, the Bible tells us to work out our salvation with what? With fear and trembling. Isi nini, isi yo kazi, isi yo kitu inakuja tuku kufraisha, sindio? You are coming to declare something, sindio? The Bible tells us that we shall honor the Sabbath day and do what? Keep it holy, sindio? Can you keep it holy by behaving as if unafanyia mungu favor? No, sindio? Can you keep it holy if you come and give God praise that is substandard? You cannot. Sawa, niko hapa kuambia kitu moja. Nataka mjue ka uliokoka, yeso mefufuka tena. Sindio? Sita nati ya alikufa tena, amefufuka. That's what we are declaring. Sindio? In the season of Easter. I hope we, the youth, as we grow, we do not get into this notion of tukosawa. Sindio? Nainanga church every Sunday. Hey, the Bible tells us that not everybody that calls him what? Lord, Lord will enter or see the kingdom. Is that the, is that the correct quotation? Sindio? So muogope. Yeah, and I tell you, as Joshua told the people of Israel, choose. As I go, before I introduce myself, choose this day whom you will serve. Thank you for that. But and ask you to rededicate yourself, isn't it? And choose again this day whom you will serve whom you'll serve in the way that you speak, whom you'll serve in the way that you behave, in the way that you testify, in the way that you think. Sindio? So, mimi naito sospita, kibi kagiri. By the grace of God, I am the parish secretary of this church, and I'm here to testify of two things. March 2nd, 2024, Nilifanya hii kitu nimekuja kuambia. I rededicated myself back to God. Amen. I rededicated myself back to God. Juu Mungu aliniambia uchafu imekuwa mingi ndani yangu na imekuwa inaonekana hadharani na nikikosa nitatumbukia. Si ndio? Kwa so nikasimama mbele ya Mungu nikamwambia mimi ni mchafu. Eh ninataka when you saved me that time I want to be saved again. Not to be brought back and, and nail Jesus Christ but to be brought back in right standing. So, second testimony. Nimekuwa nikisafa skin condition, 
for the better part of 10 to 12 years naitwa eczema imekuwa ikinisumbua in the beginning of this year i told god i am tired it is enough nataka ngozi yangu irudishwe eh irudishwe kwa sawa in this day 14th naambia nimeenda kwa dermatologist nimeomba mungu na as far as i can tell you this is the fairest iski nimerudi to whatever it was and finally by the grace of god niliwaambia i'm secret i'm church secretary he can say to you saint michael of all things that i can tell you i feel undeserving and i've gone in front of god and asked and told him i feel undeserving all the same na akaniambia si ni mimi nimekuweka si ni mimi nimekusimamisha so ni mimi nimekuweka so it is i that has sent you not the people that voted for you it is i that have sent you sender so a testimony that that is god's purpose for me for now sender now finally and before i begin yeah ni muhimu niwajulishe that in the youth tuko na vitu mbili zimefanyika number one, kule tifasha wetu john kingathia has been appointed to be a member of the finance committee of this of this parish naambia kwa sababu ni kijana yes number two, our chairperson james was elected to be secretary at deaconary ongata rongai and secretary the new at deaconary of ololaisa the reason inaambia ndio mjue vijana kwa kanisa tunasonga mbele si ndio that revival that has been spoken about is in progress si ndio but in spite of that mungu amekuja akanitumia neno kwenu si ndio and this is what the lord has told me he has told me to preach to you be set free be set free so i'm going to start by by asking we are going to talk be set free we are going to talk about believers in bondage believers in bondage believers in bondage i have niko na pages tano zaje nimeandika but i don't think you'll get all of it but whatever the lord allows me to share with you will be what you hear so i'll start luke 14:18 to 19 tutaanza na verses 2 za new testament na old testament as we move along as i define to you footholds strongholds and how we can be set free so look for 18 to 19 the spirit of the lord is upon me for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor he has set me to proclaim the captives will be released that the blind will see that the oppressed will be set free and the time of the lord's favor has come Isaiah 61 1 and 2 Old Testament The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor he has set me to comfort the broken hearted and to proclaim the captives will be released and the prisoners will be freed he has set me he has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the lord's favor has come and with it the day of god's anger against their enemies emphasis he has sent me to comfort the broken hearted and to proclaim the captives will be released the prisoners will be freed the captives will be released the prisoners will be set free so can you be saved and be in bondage that is the question number one sindio the bible tells us that he whom the son sets free is free indeed so so spita ni aje tunaweza kuwa in bondage if he whom the son sets free is free indeed the only way you can be in bondage is that god and the day that you got saved ulifanya upright si ndio but there are areas in your life that you are giving to the devil si ndio there are areas of your life that you do not submit when you got saved si ndio ulikuwa umekaa kwa congregation kama hii ukaambiwa praise god we are calling an altar call si ndio mkuje mbele and the lord came strongly upon you and did what convicted you and you felt the urge to receive this Jesus Christ that is being preached about sindio and you were set free then but when you are set free 
you did not release everything that you were holding on to. Sindio? That is what we call secret sin. That's what utasikia watu wameokoka, alafu wanaendanga club, bar, kila kitu. Sindio? Alafu wanakuja na proclaim tumeokoka. Sindio? You go and you're full of maliciousness, lakini umeokoka. You go and you're filled with jealousy, lakini umeokoka. You go, you're filled with rage, and you still say, lakini on that day, 2024, I got saved. The thing that is putting you in bondage is giving the devil, after you have been saved, a foothold. Sindio? Giving and continuously giving him that foothold, the devil creates what? A stronghold. Sindio? So let me define to you what is a foothold. Yeah? A foothold, and I explain you their dictionary definition. Sindio? But I will give you the f- a foothold dictionary definition number one. Foothold. Umeona watu wakipanda ya rock climbing, sindio? Yes. Where they have to, to place their foot so that they can move forward, sindio? So unajivu, unakanyaganga, alafu unajivuta, alafu kwa umejivuta na unakanyaga tena, sindio? So it gives you steadiness, sindio? Also a foothold is a place in the enemy's territory that the enemy has occupied akingojia supplies zikuje, sindio? That is a foothold. So, this is the thing I'm, I'm asking you. Ninini, as a foothold you have given to the devil. Ma, it's not Matthew. And I'm not sure it is maybe Timothy. Sindio? Anambiwango that give the devil no opportunity. Sindio? Inakonga kiongelea kusu nini? Aliambiwa, do not stay the whole day angry. Sindio? Alafu anasema, give the devil no opportunity. Sindio? Because the Bible tells us what? That the devil is what? Is a marooding lion. He moves around seeking whom he might do what? He might devour. Sindio? So he's always looking for the opportunity. And if you give him that opportunity, I promise you, eh, the devil never misses. Ataichukua, and then you will be brought down. You will be brought back to the bondage. Sindio? And this is what that, that God has told me today. That you see the thing about a foothold that in Tawambi is that a foothold you can resist. Sindio, the Bible tells us, resist the devil and he will free. He will flee, not flee. He will flee. Sindio, resist the devil and he will flee. But you cannot resist him. Nikisema unaiza resist na nguvu yako, sisemi ati au takuwa poa. Ati aha, do ikitu imetokea? Nivyo? For, for example, if you are a person that suffers from anger issues, yeah, control. But what if somebody specifically crosses the line? Like unazaji control, kama mtu anaongea vibaku nisu minazaji control, sindio? But if you come and insult my sister, you come and insult my mother, there is no akuna statute of limitation, sindio? I will flip out and I will come at you. Uwe mschana? Uwe mwanaume? I don't care. Nani pata? You see, and when the devil reaches that place in your life, sindio? Hapo, unavutuwa chini, sindio? And the more you let that anger, the more you let that area of your life that you have not submitted to God, the devil continues getting in. It stops being, I can resist. It becomes stronghold. Sindio? So let me define to you what a stronghold is. A stronghold, number one, is a fortified place. Sindio? A fortified place. Another name for stronghold in the Old Testament to Kiangalia is a fortress. A fortress is something that is not easy to what? To go into and besiege. Sindio? Now, a fortress. Number two definition. A place dominated by a particular group or marked by a particular characteristic. Nataka utubaki po particular characteristic. So, wacha tutumie a different type of thing. Let's call alcohol a foothold. Sindio? Maybe unakunyonga tu kidogo tu. Sindio? Aina shida, social drinking we call it. Sindio? And most times, nothing occurs. Sindio? Unaenda bashi ya mtu, unaishia nyumbani, wedding ya mtu, graduation ya mtu. Sindio? Within reason. Sindio? Eh? And that is all within reason. Sindio? But if now alcohol any single opportunity you get 
you are in alcoholism si ndio friday tafika lini niende club si ndio friday inaitwaje kutakuwa na long weekend gani niende club si ndio niende pale atakasi club tuende tukunywe si ndio that any opportunity that you get you are in alcoholism you are in party in mood like hakuna wakati ambao unaweza kai hivi useme ni hilo weekend ninakaa na Mungu si ndio yeah, you are put yourself that any opportunity that i get that i'm free ana sijashikilio na kazi ninafanya nini ninaingia ndani alcoholism si ndio alcoholism to you is a stronghold sawa and the devil knows that when you are not ready and if the situation avails itself that akiyeka alcohol in front of you what is it going to do uko ndani si ndio unasema ati wewe unaenda kunywa moja lakini hu the whole day si ndio unaamka siku nyingine eh si juve ni nilikona skill sana eh never again si ndio never again si ndio of hard stories i've been part of those stories na ndaambia hiyo ni stronghold and this is a very important thing ni mwambia foothold you can resist by yourself si ndio because umeokoka and you're upright so unaweza sema if these people wana nikasirishanga ni moweka kando si ndio and most times utaondokea but a stronghold is spiritual it is not only physical see here drink peke yake si ndio it is spiritual like you cannot pull yourself even if you wanted to si ndio you cannot say nimeacha at nimeacha leo one month later ndo wewe umerudia si ndio nimewaacha nimejaribu three months later umerudi si ndio nimeacha one year later umerudi stronghold spiritual that the devil knows that if he attacks you in that area of your life eh, he is going to get a home run every single time every single time eh natumia alcohol ju ni kitu inajulikana si ndio what about maliciousness Hey, what about slander what about pornography what about masturbation what about sexual immorality what about jealousy hey, what about lying what about going and stealing from people what about being the people that wanna kandamiza watu that the devil knows that if you have been aggrieved you'll go and cause hurt to everybody else hey, that is a stronghold in you that the devil knows that he can make you not come to church si ndio kwa sababu kuna kitu better than he si ndio and it is a stronghold and we struggle and we say lakini si kila mtu wako hapo hivyo si ndio si ndio but the bible tells us that nothing we have faced is uncommon to man si ndio nothing we have faced is uncommon to man but yet we that were saved si tulianza that we are proclaiming freedom to the captives si ndio the prisoners will be set free you see we are in bondage if at any particular opportunity kuna kitu ambayo nikikwambia sasa hii wacha nikikwambia wacha sasa hii uwezi acha if god comes and say you know what so peter that friendship uko nayo huko na watu nina call it back can you say that god yes wende can you say like abraham nimekuita out of that land wende huko si ndio i've called you out of that job ninakupeleka mahali na unaishikilia na unaishikilia whatever it is unasema mungu si waliniumiza i cannot let go of anger that is a stronghold to you nataka muone difference you can a stronghold and a foothold can be the same thing but a stronghold is spiritual and you cannot leave it by yourself many part eh? amen and hizo vitu zote nimewaambia they are alive in us si ndio we are alive with anger we are alive with condemnation with slander with gossip yeah we are alive we are alive with this thing with alcoholism sexual immorality eh yeah? tunaenda tukimake excuses and we stand in front of god and we say that we have been saved kuna verse in jeremiah 7 the bible in amplified jeremiah 7 the bible says is my house going to be a house of robbers and the amplified elaborate and says that you come and say that we are free that you come in between acts of violence alafu unaenda unaendelea na violence yako nimekuja kukuambia if that is you you are in bondage and if you persist the devil will win and he will pull you down 
and the bible says kama ulikuwa umeondolewa shetani moja demon atakuletea a few other demons worse than itself na kama ulikuwa na shida ya alcoholism unapata shida ya drug abuse kabisa if your problem was only anger he's going to bring resentment bitterness unforgiveness in you and itakuwa zaidi ngumu kutoka ndani yake kuliko kutoka kwa hiki kitu moja nilikuwa wenye ulikuwa umeokolewa from so i'm here to ask you that if you got saved and you know that jesus christ is the lord of your life and you have areas of perpetual persistent secret sin that you go and justify and say that you know what but i got saved i'm here to tell you you are in bondage there is no amount of coming to church there is no amount of singing in front of god there is no amount of prayer that is not accompanied with change the repentance of who and how you have been living that will make you right with god if you continue in perpetuity to your sin the bible tells us that to know what is right yet to do what is not right all the same it is sin to you hivyo ni popo na natuambia na kama ukweli umejulishwa ni sina hospital peke yake na mapasta wengi wamekuja mbele yangu na preachers before me and you still perpetuate that sin i'm coming to tell you that god as he told the church of ephesus i think i will spit you out nitakutoa kwangu and this grace this abundance that you have been going through will dry up as he told the people of israel sita skia maombi yenu sita ona eh hey, your sacrifice kwa nini kwa sababu hata the israelites hawakukua na nini the israelites who live egypt they do not have sacrifices sindio but what were they told to obey so i'm here to tell you if you have been sinning you are lacking obedience if you are still in alcoholism and god says that the acts of the flesh are obvious sindio and one of those acts is what is drunkenness sindio you say and you move and you umejazwa na wasichana na wanaume and you go and have sex haphazardly throughout the place and you say you know what lakini si ni maisha yangu i'm telling you that the lord is going to cut you off if you do not come and be set free if you do not pray and engage yourself in god he will cut you out and he will dry his blessings in your life and he will my in the he will stagnate you and or he will leave you in stagnation i'm here to tell you it doesn't matter kama umekuwa chairman wa youth kama umekuwa leader of prison worship kama you lead a ministry it does not matter how much you have done for god if in every single area of your life you are not in perpetual submission humility you are not praying you are not telling god to help you that you might falter you will be like david refusing the task of god going with bathsheba and god wanting to kill him you will be like moses when he was told speak to that stone and he struck that stone and god did what hakuingia sindio hakuingia hakuingia david was only saved why because he submitted himself in front of god sindio so umejoa what is a stronghold umejoa what is a foothold sindio so how are we supposed to fight a foothold is only fought by you being upright the way like the way you got saved do you read your bible every day do you pray every day do you obey do you walk away from trouble do you stand with god perpetually when sin is in front of you do you walk away or you engage kwa nini lakini nimeokoka lakini niko hapo lakini sijakunywa sama it says cast is the man who does what sits in the seats of what scoffers si ndio ule mtu ana associate na that which is evil cannot walk around and say you know what i am not evil si ndio so how are we going to deal with this two verses ni malize two verses not two verses two scriptures oh alafu another thing that i'm going to tell you before ni maliza hiyo one of the most interesting thing about these things footholds sometimes it is the people that you associate with that are going to put and give the devil that opportunity in your life so niko hapa kuambia straight forward if you see 
and God reveals to you that marafiki hata kama wajua tangu kuwe class 1 tangu hata uzaliwe maybe hata ulizaliwa nao si ndio if they are drawing you away from God it is important that you cut them off waondoke kabisa usishikilie watu ambao wanakutoa kwa Mungu si ndio the bible tells us that disciples Jesus says if you are to follow him you do what He says what? If you are to follow me do what? Deny yourself and pick up your what? Your cross and follow him. Unanipata ninakuja kuwatangazia hapa. It doesn't matter what friendship you have had. It doesn't matter how much you have served God here. If God has called you back, I'm calling you back to humility. I'm calling you back away from those people that have been leading you to sin but you continue to condone kwa nini? They are my friends. They are not kama tu nakutoa kwa Mungu si rafiki yako watu wanakuweka kwa Mungu ndio marafiki yako si unanipata and this is what i'm telling you it doesn't matter how hard it will be if the end goal is for you to get life then you get it si ndio moses tells the people of israel what behold i put before you this day life and death si ndio and he tells them what choose life if your friends are leading you unto death which is sin sin leads unto death won't okay If your acquaintances, co-workers or whoever you associate with at a family, walk away from them. Kwa sababu your salvation is at stake and it is unto into eternity, eternity. Haya, so let me finish. Two verses, two uh, not two verses, two two quotations of scripture. Second Corinthians 10 that 3 uh, to 4. 4 Though we walk live in the flesh we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh and using mere human weapons for the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons weapons of flesh and blood but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and the destruction of strongholds ukiendelea na samanga bringing every thought to submission to Christ lakini nataka nimalizie hapo for for the pulling down and the destruction of strongholds you understand strongholds are what are spiritual when niliwaambia si ndio that's why our weapons are what are not of flesh and blood but they are mighty and divine to do what to pull them down and destroy them si ndio so very important that you cannot overcome anything foothold or stronghold without what without being in god without having the holy spirit you require the aid by your own strength you are unable but with the strength of god you are most able sindio so ninaambia put yourself on guard that the devil does not get an opportunity so tumeambiwa that our weapons are what are divine sindio they are not man made so what are these weapons what are these weapons our weapons are found in Ephesians 6 second reading minta soma 12 to 18 not 12 to 18 10 to 19 and i'll read finally be strong in the lord and his mighty power 11 put on the full armor of god so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers against authorities against powers against powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms that in therefore put on the full armor of god so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with a belt of truth buckled around your waist with a breastplate of righteousness in place and with the feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace in addition to all this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and pray in the spirit in all occasions in all kinds of with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for the people of god sindio two points they are defensive weapons and they are offensive weapons sindio 
or defensive weapons is your uprightness. Indio, you have to do what? Put on and buckle up the belt of what? Of truth. Belt of truth, breastplate of eh, righteousness. Eh? Buckle. And what is this truth? The Bible tells us you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Jesus in describing himself says what? I am the way, the truth, and the life. So what is the truth? It is Jesus Christ. Sindio. So this is the thing. Have you been saved? And if you have been saved, have you rededicated yourself to Christ? Because that is what is going to hold everything that you have together. The, the what? The belt of truth. It is defensive. Wakipata Yesu, walikuwa na uliza. Tunajua, tunajua where you are the son of God. Sindio. When they find Jesus, the enemy reacts by stepping back. Why? Because that is the what? The, the son of God. Number two, breastplate of righteousness. Once you know the truth, you want to be upright in the way that you live your life. Sindio? And if you want to be upright, it shows in your righteousness. It is defensive that the devil has no opportunity because he finds you praying. He finds you in humbleness. He finds you removing, removing things that are evil in you. He finds you confessing your sins. He finds you in front of God and your knees say that, God, I am unworthy. Help me. Help me. He gets no opportunity for what? There is righteousness. And our righteousness does not come by our actions. It comes through what? Jesus Christ. So anatupata marambili ndani ya Yesu. Kwa kujua ukweli na kukua na grace kulive our life knowing that we are upright not because of what we do. Sindio? But because of Jesus Christ in us. Sindio? Number three, feet pre ready to do what? To with the gospel of peace. Sindio? If you read ukombeli na kuambia, you do what? You stand. Sindio? And now after you have stand, you do what? You stand firm. You cannot stand firm if your feet are not what? are not ready. Sindio? So are your feet ready? Do you have the gospel of Christ that you have peace? That ata mungu wa kuambia ni hivi, ni mejukupatia kazi na naichukua. Eh? Unasema, unasema mungu, kama job vya lisema, ni wewe linipatia, ni wewe umechukua. Sindio? Mungu wa kuambia, ondoka uko uwende. Uwende to another land like Abraham. Unambio kama Hosea, go and marry a prostitute. Unasema kama Yesu mungu wangu ameniambia ni songe. If the Bible has told me to step away from evil and I've read and I've been convicted, what do you do? You stand firm. Sindio? Sio gopi ata kama dunia yote inanicheka. I am firm. Sindio? Because my feet are firm and they are ready with the peace, with the gospel of peace. Those are what? Defensive. Kwa sababu, zina kuja kukupata. They find you ready. What are offensive weapons sasa? Sindio? Our offensive weapons ni tatu. In addition to this, we are told. Number one is the shield of faith. Sindio? Shield of faith. Sindio? James tells us that what? That our faith without actions are what? Are dead. Sindio? So our faith is an offensive weapon because if we believe in God, we obey. And if we obey God, what occurs? We do what? We resist. Sindio? Because the devil finds us in obedience. Sindio? So is your faith in front of you? Or does it waver because of money? Does it waver because of sex? Does it waver because of your alcoholism? Does it waver because of maliciousness? Or is it resolute? That God says that I keep away from sin, so my faith is ever before me, and it is extinguishing. Because when the devil finds you ready, he cannot attack. Sindio? Because your faith is extinguishing him. Sindio? Number two, helmet of salvation. How is that offensive? How is that an offensive weapon? Sinafa, what defensive? It is offensive in this way that it declares. Who has saved you? Sindio. It declares that you have been saved. Sindio. That you know that you have been saved. And that we are, that we are told in a testimony that they overcame him by what? The word of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Sindio. That is salvation. Our salvation is that Jesus Christ came, he died, and he resurrected. Sindio. And put us at power with him. So this is the good news. And this is the salvation that attacks. Because as you move, even those that are not saved receive Christ. Sindio? Kwa sababu ule anasimama, tunamuona. Kwa nini anasimama hivyo? Kwa sababu ameokolewa. 
helmet of salvation, it is offensive. And that is what? That is the great commission. To wend and bele na tupatiane Yesu. Sindio? That, and I think the final, final word, it is the sword of the spirit. Sindio? The sword of the spirit. You cannot fight if you do not know what you should be fighting with. Sindio? The word of God tells us how to fight. Sindio? The word of God tells us that we should submit ourselves and resist the devil and he will flee. Sindio? We are told that we should pray in all occasions and in all times without ceasing. Sindio? We are told that we should be humble. Sindio? We are told that we should be walking in uprightness. Sindio? And our uprightness is known in the word. Sindio, what we should do and what we shouldn't do. So if you're not reading your Bible, if you're not living that Bible, if you are not proclaiming that Bible openly, then the devil gets an opportunity. Because what your rights as one that is saved are. Sindio, now the final one. The final one. Pray at all times, in all occasions. And be alert. Send you. And be alert. So, now Ambia, you have to pray in perpetuity. Sir, to Simame Nikimaliza, you have to pray in perpetuity without failing every single day, every single moment, for everything. Every single thing. Big, small. Ineto aje, ile mzuri, ile mbae, ile unadhani, aina aja na mungu, uombe. Kwa sababu, if you do not, if you do not, the devil creates footholds. The devil gets footholds and the, and the devil is going to put in bondage. So, mimi ni naomba prayer for you for, for the bringing down of strongholds in our lives. Sir, na wewe ni kiyomba pia ujiyombe the stronghold that God has convicted you as I've preached. That you might live it. So, pray as I pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, oh God, my Father, you have convicted me, my Father, to come and preach to your people that they should be set free. That, oh God, that they have been in bondage, oh God, yet you say that you have come to preach the good news. That you have come, my Father, to proclaim that the captives will be set free, that the prisoners will be set free, oh God. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that, oh God, we that have been saved, oh God, and yet have become dirty, yet have gone back to the world, we have started my father with my God we have started with my father the spirit and we are ending in the flesh oh God I pray that oh God that dedication occurs in our lives oh God that oh God that confession and repentance occur in our lives oh God that oh my father all strongholds be it my father alcoholism be it pride be it sexual immorality be it jealousy maliciousness lying oh God be it falsehood oh God be it oh my God anything that rises itself above you oh God my father be it pride oh God be it bitterness, O oh God. Be it unforgiveness, resentment, O oh God. My Father, we say that in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, that he who the Son sets free is free indeed, O oh God. My Father, I release and tear down, O oh God, that all strongholds, O oh God, that have been built up in age with resentment, my God, that has been built up with so many tears, O oh God. My Father, we are proclaiming, my Father, freedom for the captives, O oh God. We are saying that, O oh God, if the people that are here and those that are watching are parents left, oh God, and they are unable to live, oh God. Let them dedicate themselves, oh God. Let them come to you and say, oh God, I have been wrong, like the prodigal son, oh God. I am unworthy, oh God, but God, you have made us worthy, oh God. My Father, allow no bondage in our lives anymore. If you have been saved for so long, oh God, and it has split, it has split our minds, my Father, we are saying return us to you. Return us, my Father, in our hearts. Return us in our actions. Return us in our spirits, oh God. Break the connection of the enemy in every single one of us, oh God. My Father, I proclaim the blood of Jesus over each and every one that is here, oh God. We are saying that, oh God, my Father, you are renewing, you are reviving, and in the mighty name, my Father, we are receiving and we are breaking, oh God, because you are mighty to save, oh God. And oh, my Father, you say that you are not far, you will save us with your righteous right hand, oh God. My Father, I pray this believing and trust in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now we stand with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Together, 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let's get a song. We worship the Lord with our substance so that we can go. Our time is far much spent. you for giving us an opportunity to worship you with our substance, our tithes and offerings. Father, I want to pray the Lord may sanctify this offertory and bless it, Father, that it may be worth of use for the work of ministry. Bible, we ask for your blessings upon your people, Lord, as they have given. Now, Father, as you are coming to the end of this service, Lord, teach us, O Lord, to stand firm in your word, O King of glory, according to that which you have taught us this morning. Guide us in every step, my Father, that we may live to glorify you all the days of our lives. We worship you and we honor you. And now the peace of God which passes, passes all human understanding, keep your souls and minds in the knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. We'll give it, get a song to recess.